Hey YouTube, can't burn back. Well, I actually got done today. I didn't think I was going to, but I figured what the heck, there was still daylight available. So when I went ahead and uh, put the switch in, I don't have an amp gauge except for my test uh, gauge. So basically, um, to set the initial mixture, um, I actually went by um, two things. Uh, number one, I didn't blow the fuses. And number two, I kept the temperature in the fluid down to uh, around 110, 115 degrees um, from past experience and experimenting. That tells me I'm probably heated up. I'm probably running between 15 and 18 amps, and that's fine. But I thought you all would like to see it running in the truck, so we'll crank the truck up. And uh, there's the switch. Put the switch on the dash. And don't forget... The uh, EFIE is in there. I had the EFIE set for 350. I've been driving it around. Um, it threw the engine light uh, when it hit 400. It hit 420, I guess, when I uh, romped on it. And I looked over at the test meter. Uh, when the uh, when the meter went up to uh, 400 millivolts, my check engine light flashed on. And uh, then when I went back down to cruise mode, uh, about. In 10 seconds the uh, light went off so there's my generator switch crank it up give it a flip it's on dog I'm uh I can't wait to uh do the first initial test Friday that's gonna tell me that's gonna be uh Friday's gonna be the long distance fuel run but just thought you guys might want to see it running it's officially done That's it. Um, that's pretty much it until I get the uh, until I get my engaged um, amp meter. I'm gonna set the amp meter right in here, and uh, I've got floor space down here for the uh, the PWM uh, when I figure out uh, what type I'm gonna get. And. Uh, once the PW is in, we're going to mount a little uh, plate for it to just to sit on, so it'll be in here. But I, I'm pretty much betting that for the PWM, most likely what's going to happen is I'm just going to buy it. Uh, we're going to hook it up to the engine, get the settings right, and then I'm going to mount it in the back of the truck, uh, back by the uh, CD changer. Because I can't really see myself flashing back and forth, you know, setting the thing continuously. Um, I don't have a lot of experience in them, so that's it. Just short little film. Uh, but uh, I'm done. The Hydro Super 2 is in. It's producing gas. Um, now we start the road tests. So until then, uh, hopefully I'll get a. Um, I'll do a short tape uh, Saturday when I get back from the fire department and I uh, I do my first run on gas, and uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, I'm not beefing up the numbers or anything like that. Like I said, there's there's no advertising here. I'm not making any money. I'm just trying to uh, squeeze a little bit more mileage out of this old pig. And if I can uh, help somebody else out there who's got an older truck, then you've got the basic steps, folks. So I'll try to get a vi another video out Saturday. Um, until then, have a good one.